be Hello there you killer karaoke queens and welcome back to Pure Play TV with another video review and today we're taking a look at Let's Sing Queen for PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch and PC. The version we're testing today is the PS4 version of the game running on PS4 Pro and a review code was provided by the publisher. A quick note before we actually get on with the review. I took this one myself on the basis that I would do a fun review, recreating some of the iconic scenes from Queen music videos. Unfortunately, my ability did not meet my ambition, and it wasn't to be. We're also having to do this review with screenshots from the game, rather than the usual run of game capture, and that's because Let's Sing Queen doesn't allow you to record anything. And that's a shame, because in the modern era of sharing embarrassing videos, there are more than a few to be had here. But, licensing and making sure Brian May receives his royalties are more important. That hair doesn't pay for itself, you know. Before we carry on with this video review, please do us a favour and hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. And don't forget the bell icon too, so that you're the first to know when we've got new stuff for you to watch. Cheers, my dears! If you've played a karaoke video game, then you've played them all. This isn't my first rodeo, and it's not my first time playing a singing game based on Queen. Way back when I was a much younger man, myself, Vince and Sam, my two best buds, stayed up one night playing Sing Star Queen while we drank boxed wine. And that is, yes, wine from a box. So I'm familiar then, and Let's Sing Queen is a familiar experience for anyone who has played any of the previous Let's Sing games. The premise is simple, you choose a song, the song plays with the official music video in the background and you try to score as many points as possible whilst you wail into your microphone or your smartphone. The more in key you are, the more points you will score. The more points you score, the higher you will sit on the online rankings. Not that I cared all that much about ranking against other people. This is purely a fun family game in my house and one that will definitely get a lot of use over the holidays. What really makes or breaks a karaoke game are the songs. If the selection is crap, the game is a dud. If they're great, you've got an instant winner with no sign of buyer's remorse in sight. Queen automatically sits high and mighty as great, based purely on the fact it's a game full of bloody Queen songs. You've got the big bangers like Don't Stop Me Now, I Want to Break Free, and of course, Bohemian Rhapsody, as well as some softer tunes like Who Wants to Live Forever, as well as some of the full house foot stompers like We Will Rock You. It's basically the greatest hits, the game. But instead of singing it in the shower and believing yourself to be the next Freddy, you're playing it on the telly with your family clapping their hands over their ears and the score telling you it's time to quit. While I did enjoy the majority of the songs, there were one or two that just didn't fit the format perfectly. But I wouldn't remove them for the world. I Want to Break Free is a good example. It's a classic and we all love it. But... Halfway through the song, there's a couple of minutes of Freddy rolling around doing some weird stuff. All the while, I'm stood in my living room, sweating, full of adrenaline, and ready to belt out the next line. It's a small complaint, but in a party setting, I could see it being a bit of an energy killer, at least for me. During my time with Let's Sing Queen, I played with the family and we used a mixture of actual microphones as well as our smartphones. I know the hardcore singers will scoff at the idea of singing into a phone, but honestly, it's really handy and it works well. Connecting to the console is easy. All you need is the app on your phone, and then you put in the code that the game gives you. The performance was good too, and I didn't really notice if I was doing any better or worse between devices. There is a progression system with leveling up and cosmetic gear for your avatar, as well as a few different game modes if you really want to get the most out of the game. For me and my family, we were happy enough to put on the classic game mode and take turns, with the occasional duet if we really wanted to piss the neighbours off. It's a functional game and there's not really much else you can ask for from a game based on Queen's brilliant catalogue of work. I would have liked to have been able to capture some gameplay, but that's the only real annoyance I had with the game. Now, when am I getting Let's Sing The Killers? When is it happening? Come on! And that's the end of this review. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoy playing this game. I don't know if you can tell, but my voice is actually a little bit gone. I've um, I've strained myself trying to hit those high notes, and it's it's ruined me. My my throat is in tatters. 
but it's worth it. I had a great time. It really is fun. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. And don't forget the, what's it called? The bell icon too. <laughs> yeah, it's not just my voice that's gone. It's my brain as well. Way. Um, yeah, hit those. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not going to edit that out. This is real and raw. I've been Chris. You've been good little queens. And I'll see you next time. Until then, bye.